about bringing in a better mouse trap. Here's the problem. You've got oil or leftover salad dressing or you've grease. got bacon fat or grease. Mm -hmm. You certainly could pour it down the drain and you will very quickly clog your drain. Not to mention harm the septic systems mm -hmm. and all those other things. In your streets, in your neighborhoods, in your city. And it you happens. can't open your garbage can and pour hot grease into the garbage can because that's just a grand mess. Mm -hmm. So what is the other option? Mark Charles has found it. It's called Range Clean. Range Clean Fat Trapper. Okay, what is it? Fog. Fog stands for fat, oil, grease. The three things we all make in our kitchen that we should not, I'm going to repeat, should never, never, never not put down your drain. You think you put hot water on and it gets down the drain? Yeah, it might get out of your pipes, but it will land somewhere. And it is one of the biggest culprits of plumbing issues in cities, towns, neighborhoods, well, and homes. It lands because when it, where it lands, it solidifies. It solidifies. So yeah. stop doing it, please. I made the mistake too. Think about when you make salad dressing, this leftover salad dressing, don't pour it down the drain. Fat Trapper was created. What is it? It is a container that contains all the odors in. It's tip resistant. It's going to solidify all your fats, oils, and greases into this heat resistant pack that gets folded up. You keep filling it and filling it and filling until it it's the top. You then close this up when it's filled and you throw it in the garbage with your regular trash and now you've disposed of it properly and you keep reusing this container over and over again. We give you 12 of these bags, which we're estimating for the average household to last you over two years worth of fat, oil, and grease collecting. Wow. And don't put it in your drain anymore. It's a common mistake. We've got to stop doing it. Now, let's also remind you that we have this for you in four great colors. Mm -hmm. We have the black, we have the white, and have the bags down we have the sure. blue, right, the red, and each White one. and most limited, and each color choice that you order will come with 12 of these bags. This should be enough to last you, you said, how long? Up to two years. We're up saying up years. for the average household. You know, you average make household. bacon, meats, and all that other stuff. Remember, fog, fat, oil, and grease. What I love about this is that this is not going to tip over RVs, campers. If you're doing, um, uh, you know, outside camping and things like that, you want a trap that you can't leave that grease out in the, in the wilderness. Great to have for campers and RVs. What I love is once you start, it solidifies. So there's old grease, just to show you what's happening. Old grease has been put in there. You keep adding to it. And then with this lid, not only is it not going to tip over under your sink or on your countertop or wherever you put it, it's also going to trap the odors. So no odors. It's also going to stop any ants or any kind of bugs coming into that fat that normally, my grandmother used to do this. Does this look familiar to everybody? The old coffee can under the sink. Here is my grandmother's. And then another friend of ours from QVC actually told me this is what they do. They take an old soda can, which is all jaggedy, and fill it up. Again, when you do this, you get odors, bugs, spillage, this is going to conquer all that. Let's put it to work. So here's an old right. one. So I'm going to take... Uh, 600 of these are already gone. Take my rest of the meat off. Take my fry pan. And the, the thing is, don't do it bubbling hot when it comes right out, right? And just pour it in. And what I love is you can just keep adding to it. Let it solidify. Do not put any fat, oil, or grease into your sink, even if you put the hot water. And then look, so that's fresh grease. Lit it up, close it up. In a, in a couple hours, if not a day, it'll solidify. You keep adding it and, and, well, and adding. You make a good point, Mark Charles. When what? you pour hot water behind any grease you put in your drain, sure, it may flush it out of your oh, yeah. drain. You don't see it anymore, but it went somewhere. But it went somewhere, and where it lands, it solidifies. It gets hard. And then that becomes really tough on your local septic system. Yes. This is why it's important to dispose of all this fat, oil, and grease properly. Now, you make something in the oven like, uh, I don't know, braised beef short ribs yep, or any kind of meat there where you have to skim the fat. Yep. Where's take that fat going to go? Just put it in here. Leftover uh, vinaigrettes or from stir fries that you have, put it inside. Remember, fog is what we do. Fat, oil, or grease should not be going down your drain. Fill that up, add it, it will solidify. Here's the beauty. So let's say I want to throw this out, but you can fill this to the top. All you're going to do is grab your bag. There is a little closure. You're going to wrap it. You're going to wrap it. Seal it. Seal it. And toss it. And toss it. Now this is grade ready for the garbage. This is the proper way. This is filled with fat. Solidified fat, oil, and grease. How great is that? That's the way to do it. And. 2,000 of these are gone now. These are the color choices. You will get a two year on average, a family uh, will throw away enough grease and fat. About two years, yeah. To fill, uh, uh, fill these up two years. So you've got about a two year supply of bags. You may choose red. Red is popular. I have 2,200 left. Here's blue. 2,300 left. White, 2,400, and black. Black is our most popular with only 2,700 remaining. Six easy payments of $3.67. Okay, so bacon. 
is one of the biggest culprits. I'm gonna take my bacon off. We just finished, we just finished. And look, I mean, look at all the drippings and all the, the bacon fat. I'm gonna put that on my thing to dry. And then we're gonna take the double, double burner, right? There's a double burner. And we're gonna make sure, we're gonna go here. We can go with my arms, sorry about that, guys. And then just pour it right in. It's a simple, simple thing. And now if you have this system, once I got it home, I, I, and I have to say something, I have to be honest and tell you, I was the culprit of it. I didn't think of things like the residue from my stir fry, right. the oil and vinegar from the bottom of my salad bowl after the salad's been done. I'm or dumping... how about the two inches left in the bottom of the salad dressing container when you realize it's expired? Correct. You don't pour it down the drain. You pour it in your fat keeper and then rinse the bottle out and then put the bottle in recycle and this goes in the garbage. And this goes, it just <coughs> makes more sense. And if you have, if you do any research, which I did once I got this, because I got to tell you, they sent it to me and I'm like, what do you mean the fat trapper? What, what do I need that for? And then I realized that all the plumbing issues and city plumbing issues and Main Street issues, a lot of them are happening because we just flush it down the toilet. Even just a little bit, we're putting down our drains with the hot water. We go, oh, look, it's gone. Oil's got to solidify and stop somewhere. Either your own plumbing in your own home, the connection to the main streets, your towns, your cities, or your water sources. It's eventually going to go into the water sources, mm -hmm. and that's contaminating the waters as well. How many so, gone now, Sean? I got to tell you. 4,000 now gone. Mary, you got a question? I've never seen it. Yeah. Um, yeah. One is how many ounces does it hold on the inside? Hi, hi, hi. How many uh, ounces does the great bag question. hold? Let's see. Does it say on there? The other thing, while you're looking that up, uh, that is an awkward place to stand. I'm so yeah. sorry. Um, that the um, Mickey just said in our live chat. Yeah. He just said he or she. Excuse me. I didn't read that closely. I took off and ran because so, I thought this is so great. Check with your local disposal services. Yeah. Some places you can bring your fats and grease. And donate or have oh, them recycled or have them oh, disposed of that's properly. That's great. It does not so, indicate here how many ounces this is. Okay, fair enough. Um, but I just thought I'd ask and I'll look it up too. All Thank right. you, partner. Thank me. you, dear. Again, just having that place to be able to put all that fat, all that grease that we all produce in our homes, whether you are meat eaters or not, I gotta tell you, even remember fog, remember fat, oil, and grease, all three of them. It's not just bacon fat, it's not just meat fat, it's fat, oil, and grease. Collect it, dispose of it properly, this is the answer. Now, uh, how many gone now? 4,500, I'm you, checking I've never, at the bottom in, too. In 19 years of QVC, I've never seen anything like this. This has been a problem that I didn't know I had, and I was super educated. I never understood the acronym of FOG, fat, oil, and grease. I never realized that all things, fat, oil, and grease, that you do not put down the drain. I was a culprit of it too. The simplest things like any residue from a stir fry, anything that you fry in a pan, like just even a small little well, burger. Just an ounce of fat, bacon fat, I'll just put it in the drain. Yeah, but you know what? An ounce plus an ounce plus an ounce plus an ounce plus an ounce, Equals you're putting a in gallons into your water systems, into your sewage, into your pipes. Now, everybody stay on the line for this. We're very, very busy. If you want red, 1,500. Blue, 2,000. White, 2,100. And the black. And Trap the, in the black, but this is the most popular. Mark Charles, this thank is, you. I like to call this, this is not your grandmother's coffee can at the sink no, anymore. No, it's not. We've it's now not elevated all. to something smarter. Six <laughs> easy payments of just 367. Stay on the line here. We're very, very busy. Mark Charles, thank you. Thank you. Always good Thanks to see everybody. you. Thanks, everybody. All right. And time now to taste the recipe. I'll be right back.